What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. And in this video, I just want to do a breakdown of my recent Facebook ad campaign results, show you the results that we're getting, appointments that we booked, et cetera, uh, just kind of the overall strategy of what we're doing, uh, what we have planned for the future as well, and uh, go from there. So uh, make sure you stick to the end. Got some pretty cool stuff in this video as usual. If you find it helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. Always got good stuff for you guys there. Let's rock and roll. So this particular campaign is, uh, a, 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 again, we're using Facebook lead forms like we normally do, and we're generating equipment financing leads. So if you guys are in the business loan space and you want to learn how to generate leads uh, for your business, for your lending business, using Facebook ads and a bunch of other different strategies, you know, in addition to having the funnels, all the automated follow-up, et cetera, it'll be, a, I'll have a link in the description. You can learn more. But um, same strategy that I usually use for Facebook lead forms, where we're using the lead form to get first name and email, just build the list, get people into what I call your uh, digital ecosystem, letting people come to you and, and, and really relying on the funnel and the automated follow-up, the, the educational content uh, that gets sent out via email, et cetera, to have people coming to you. Um, it tends to uh, generate you know, higher intent leads. Um, because they, they, they take quite a few steps before they become an actual lead for you to contact or they book an appointment, right? And so far, uh, it's doing really well. We're at 51 leads at the moment, and uh, we're just under $4 per lead. Not too bad uh, for getting people into your pipeline. And uh, spent uh, just under $200, and our, our numbers are looking really good. And um, I like uh, I like showing these numbers too because it really gives you an idea of of what to look for, how to determine whether your campaign is performing or not. So obviously, if you're generating leads at the cost that you want, that's really good too. Uh, but let's say your lead costs are higher and you're not really sure uh, like whether to turn your campaign off or not or change it. Um, these are the numbers that I tend to look at, and uh, it's really one is the CPM that gives you an idea of the competition uh, that that's within your space how much it costs to advertise to your audience right now. Uh, but also the, the the main metric that I look at is this right here, this link click-through rate at 1.87% 1, 1. is really good. Uh, anything at 1% or above, you really don't want to mess with your, your ad campaign because uh, over time, now, now if people aren't submitting the form, uh, it, so if you have a good link click-through rate, but people aren't submitting your form, that lets you know that it's either your offer um, well, probably not your offer because people are clicking on it, but there's something wrong with the lead form, something's inconsistent, whatever. That's what you would want to change. But if you have a really good link click through rate, then uh, then your campaign is resonating with your audience really well. So we're getting some really good engagement on our campaigns here. Let me uh, show you the different uh, ads that we have. We actually tested three ads this time. I usually do two. Um, decided to, you know, I'm, I'm always just trying to get better at this stuff, guys. So constantly testing new things. Um, again, also, again, make sure you subscribe too, because the next campaign I'm going to run, um, it's going to be equipment financing uh, as well. Same exact strategy, but I'm, use, I'm using an entirely different type of lead form. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. We're going to be testing that out next. But uh, on this particular case, uh, so we have a static video and two single images right here. And this is the one that, uh, so the static video is the one that is doing really well. Uh, good good metrics right here, average, above average, above average. That, that's exactly what you want to see. Now, if this is if any of these are below average, it doesn't necessarily mean that your ad is bad. Again, if you're reaching your numbers, you're getting those that, that good link click-through rate, you're getting your lead cost, then you know there's no point in, in turning it off, right? So uh, let me pull up, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you this uh, ad campaign, guys, uh, really quick. Um, so basically, this is, uh, I, I create all this stuff in Canva. Um, it's just a video. It's a static video that uh, we're offering a free guide. Learn how to go to uh, get equipment financing for your business. They click it. It doesn't do anything. It's just a, it's just a static video. But it's a different type of ad that that keeps it fresh with your audience, right? So we've got, when you have all different kinds of ad, like if you keep running the same type of ad over and over, you know people just get bored with it. They get used to it. You want to mix it up with different types of uh, ads: carousel ads, single image ads static video ads, right? Um, so, you know, you, you want to keep mixing it up as much as possible, right? So we're just offering a free guide. I talk about this in my other videos, guys. I always lead with value with my Facebook ad campaigns, free guide, free masterclass, webinars, uh, ebook, reports, something like that, just to get people into your ecosystem. Uh, I find it's always best to lead with value. You know, some people try to get the appointments booked right away. Uh, that's just that's just not how I, I run my campaigns. I, I'd rather have people coming to, to us, and that's that's really what this is designed to do. So out of the uh, so we've had fifty one leads, 
And uh, this is partly my fault on um, on the setup here. We actually just generated another lead while I'm uh, recording this. This was at 37. Uh, anyways, uh, so we've had a, a couple of surveys completed. I'm not even going to count these two. Uh, I don't know why people do this. Like, do people really not have anything better to do with their time than fill out uh, Facebook lead forms with scam on it? Like, what is wrong with people? Seriously. Uh, um, anyways, that's why uh, that's why I have the the funnel in place to weed out these types of people. Not to, I mean, he's still this person still filled out a survey, but they didn't book an appointment. Anyways, I digress. So uh, we've had a, a few, uh, quite a few appointment books. So we're at seven on uh, in this particular pipeline. And um, I believe we have a couple of others in a different pipeline. I had my uh, my automation incorrect. Uh, I was using a different uh, lead form or the, in, the the incorrect lead form. And so we have uh, appointments in a couple of different pipelines, but they're there. So I think we're at uh, about nine appointments uh, booked out of the 51 leads. So if we do that math really quick, um, let's see. So we, we were at $195. We'll just round up to 200. Why not? And then we divide that by nine appointments. So that's about $22 per appointment. That's not too bad. You know, even if you round it up to 25. And the thing is, is that these are higher quality appointments because they've been exposed to your brand. They, they know, you know, at least who you are. They've gone through the funnel again. So they filled out the Facebook lead form. That takes them to our questionnaire that asks them basic questions about their business, right? Um, they then provide their phone number, which turns them into a, a true lead for, uh, for the business to contact. And then uh, after that, they get an opportunity to book an appointment. So anybody that's booked an appointment has gone through a lot of steps, uh, quite a few steps to get to this point. So these tend to be your highest intent leads. So, you know, 20, 25 bucks a booked appointment that it's exclusive to you. It's real time. Um, and of course, a lead broker has the appointment reminder automations going in the background to help you um, increase your appointment show rates. You know, that's not too bad. Those aren't bad numbers. Uh, under $4 a lead up front. To, to get the name and email address, get people exposed to your brands, get them on the email uh, so you can follow up with them. And then uh, nine appointments out of 51 leads so far. What is that? Um, how, uh, so nine. Yes. Uh, so 17% uh, appointment book rate uh, percentage, whatever. Uh, that's not too bad, guys. Uh, not, not a bad start at all. So, uh, and again, uh, all these people are, are coming to us. You know, they're responding to the ad. Um, they're, they're going through our funnel, they're responding to, you know, our text messages, our emails and things like that. So it's, it can be a really, really powerful system for your business. Now, of course, not every lead is going to be qualified. Not every lead is going to be, you know, ready to sign up for whatever it is that you're offering, but this is like such an important and, and powerful part of, of running your business, the ability to generate leads and, uh, appointments real time, exclusive to you that like you can refine the follow-up process and your targeting and stuff like that. But being able to get people into your pipeline, like this is just so powerful guys. So anyways, I'll, I'll wrap this up really quick. I, I didn't want this to be too long. Just wanted to give you, show you guys the, the overall strategy of what we're doing. The, uh, the, the campaign results just, you know, I want to show you guys that the, the stuff, this stuff really does work. Um, you know, you'll have to refine it a little bit, but you know, being able to, to bring your own leads in, you just, you can't beat it. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, I hope this was helpful. Leave a comment down below. Any questions? Uh, make sure you check out a lead broker if you're in the, the lending business and you're looking to get more, more business loan leads and, and just have a really awesome pre-built system and marketing share. I'm specifically for the lending industry. Make sure you check it out. All right, guys, uh, hope you're crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.